Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela. If you guys have not watched a video from me, hi, I'm Angela. I'm from Wisconsin, and I am here to tell you guys a story time on how my private information got exposed. I'm usually the one exposing people, but I got exposed this time, and I thought that I would um, share this with you guys in hopes that maybe this may... I don't know, teach you guys how to protect yourself a little bit more if you guys are on any social media platforms. So basically what happened was, it all started with Periscope. So I do a morning show, if you guys don't know, it's called the Angela and Judy Morning Show. And basically myself and my coworker, we carpool together in the morning on our way to work and we periscope and um, I will periscope live. I usually um, share that periscope on Twitter live. So as I'm live scoping with my coworker in the car, we're just kind of like talking about whatever, but it goes on Twitter live so people can watch it. Now, what people are watching my Periscope? Well, I have followers on Periscope, the app, so I have those people watching it coming in and out live. I also have people who are not following me on Periscope. They um, can just kind of go into Periscope if they want. They can just like search up my name and go in. And then there are people who are on Twitter that if they see my live Periscope, go up on Twitter, they can retweet my Periscope and then all of their followers can watch. So it's kind of like a choo-choo train, you know, like if, oh, Angela's live, let's share it. Then she gets maybe 300 more people coming in, in and out, in and out. So basically what happened was on one of the days I was periscoping with my coworker and I was almost to work and I look up because I don't know if you guys are familiar with Periscope, but basically it is an app where you record yourself and people can watch you and it's live and it's interactive where people can comment and say things and you can see their comments and you can respond. It's kind of like a live feed, only it's in the Periscope app. So I got to work. I happen to look up at the comments and I see one person who I've never seen before in my Periscope comment and it was very, very personal information. When I say very personal information, I mean information that I have not given out to anyone who doesn't know me in person. Some people who know me in person don't even know this information. So. And the information that was leaked was very, very personal. I was in a state of shock. I looked at it and I just kind of froze. And then um, I played it cool and I just closed the app down and I immediately told my coworker and I was literally freaked out for the remainder of the day. It was kind of scary. Um, so then I went home and I thought about it and I thought, you know, this never has happened before. It's either somebody that I know personally or like somebody trying to play a joke on me or something or I don't know, whatever. Um, so what I did was I decided to play my Periscope back. I hid the Periscope first, which was good because, um, usually what happens is I don't hide my Periscope right after I'm done. So more people can watch it throughout the day until I get home and then I can hide the Periscope and then I can upload it to YouTube. And when I upload it to YouTube, you can't see the comments that people, um, say in the Periscope, you can only see what I'm putting out there to you guys. So anyway, I got home after like freaking out all day long and um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch my Periscope back and I'm going to look to see if I recognize or see any other signs or symptoms of this person. And I, I saw it. I took a screenshot of it. I looked up the person. I blocked them, obviously, immediately. I searched them up on all of their um, social media platforms, and I couldn't find them. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this person 
decided to message me on Twitter. And it wasn't, it was like underneath a different name. Um, but I will read to you the message that they sent me. So they have a private Twitter account, which I am not for, by the way. I'm getting really sick and tired of these private Twitter accounts. But anyway, this is what this person sent me. Hi, Angela. I just wanted to come clean and say that I was the one who commented on your Periscope this morning. I just want to apologize and say I am so, so sorry. And I really had no idea what I was thinking. However, I simply got that info by looking you up on Google. And then it gets into more personal information. Um, they say, I promise I'm not some creep. I am a high school student and my friends and I are fans. And they dared me to do this this morning. Like I said, I am so, so sorry. But I would look into it by taking your blank down. So now they feel like they're trying to help me. I please ask that you do not reveal my name even though I have done you wrong. You are part of our everyday routine and I guess we just wanted to get noticed. I just want to tell you that you have nothing to worry about and feel free to contact me anytime. I am so sorry, Angela. And then after that, this person sent me screenshots of a step-by-step instruction on how they got this personal information and how I am supposed to take care of it so no one else can get this personal information. Like they are doing me a favor, which really pissed me off. I'm just like, wait a minute. So you were dared to do this. First of all, no one was holding a gun to your head. No one was holding a knife to your throat to do this. You chose to do this on your own. And now you're telling me as a favor to me how to make it so you can't do this again to me or no one else can. And I was literally shaking with anger. I was almost as mad as I was when the whole Jen situation happened at Bath and Body Works. Like, I kid you guys not, I felt so much anger inside of me. So then they say, just so you know, this was all searched. And when I clicked on this purple, it comes up. I wasn't stalking, invading you in case you thought I was. Okay. I did my own investigation. I feel like I needed to contact this person somehow, some way, to let them know that this was not okay and that you cannot get away with this. So the first place I started was Instagram. And I had the person's name from the message that they sent. And I looked up Instagram and I actually found two Instagrams of the same person, different pictures, but the same person. So I clicked on the Instagram, made sure that it was that person, and then I went to Facebook. And I found him on Facebook. He was in all of his glory with a huge profile picture of him and his mother. And his mother looked like the sweetest, sweetest lady ever. So... I decided to contact the mother. It was obvious that this guy was, this kid was underage. He was up to no good. He was dealing with somebody who was more mature than him and really needed to learn a lesson, unfortunately. Um, that, that thing that he put out there was seen by thousands and thousands of people. My Periscope that day was retweeted and retweeted and retweeted. Um, even though I deleted it, I don't know how many people actually saw that. Um, so I did contact his mother on Facebook. And she had the exact same profile picture that he did, which I found very interesting. So when I contacted her, I said, hello, Miss Amy. I'm sure you don't know me, but let me introduce myself. My name is Angela and I'm from Wisconsin and I post YouTube videos about candles. I am also on several other media platforms and your relation 
insert name there, decided to look up my blank and post it for all of my followers to see. Thousands. This is completely unacceptable. If this happens again, I will have to contact my lawyer for harassment and cease and desist. I will also include the letter that he sent me on Twitter so you can possibly sit down with him and read it aloud. Thank you for your time in this urgent manner and I hope you have a great day. And I sent her screenshots and while I was sending her screenshots, he was commenting on my dog's Instagram saying, Angela, I just sent you Twitter messages. Oops, not Snooky, but Angela, I just sent you messages. Go look at them. Like he tried finding me everywhere. It was literally delusional. So as he's doing this, I'm sending her screenshots of what he's doing at that very moment. So she said back to me about an hour and a half later, he has been talked to and his phone and computer have been compensated. I am furious with him. I sincerely apologize for his stupidity. Thank you for reaching out to me. I said, thank you and have a great day. She said, you too, Angela. Again, I am so sorry. I honestly did not know what else, or I honestly don't know what else to say. He is in a ton of trouble right now and left it at that. I mean, literally, I could have went after him further. I could have contacted my lawyer. I have had to contact a lawyer in the past about certain situations that have happened. But I mean, because, you know, the mom was open to talking to me and because he was underage, I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to contact anyone. I'm just going to like leave it alone. It was just really concerning to me that my private information was, you know, kind of leaked out there and I had no control over it. It was kind of a scary situation. And I mean, it was to the point where I discussed it with some other people and decided that um, I may not periscope anymore in the morning, which is a shame because it's like one person can comment and ruin it for thousands of others. I mean, and when I told everyone that it's like, you know, a big downer because I didn't want it to happen again, first of all. And it's not fair to the other people, though, that watch me on Periscope. Periscope, I feel, is all about, um, you know, the interaction with the people who are watching you, which is super awesome. It's an awesome app. I feel like it doesn't get enough attention. Um, a lot of, like, the Facebook Live right now is, you know, really popular. And Instagram Live is really popular. And I've done a few Instagram Lives before. Um but yeah, it's just, it was a shame that it happened. I'm glad that I took care of it. Um, but things happen and you just kind of have to take things in your own hands and, you know, deal with it and move on. So that was my little story time on how some of my information got leaked. People are just bored, I guess. They have nothing better to do than look up information about a person, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so I hope all of you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, you can do so now by just hitting the subscribe button. And then if you are subscribed, but if you are not getting notified um, of my videos going up, you can hit the little bell and you will be notified when I upload. All of my orifices are down below, like my Instagram, my Twitter, my Tumblr, my Periscope. What else? My Snapchat, all of it, everything. It's all there. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye everyone.